John Perry from Advanced Comfort Systems. We're here today at Takeo. And we're installing the radiant heat uh, for the classrooms in the new uh, Innovation Center. Um, so what we're doing here today is the concrete guys are putting down the in, uh, vapor barrier, and then we're putting our insulation down, wire mesh, and we're tying uh, tubes to the wire mesh and connecting them to the manifolds. And then we'll have them under pressure so that they can uh, pour the concrete for the floor the slab on uh, probably Wednesday. Once the floor is poured, then all the uh, electrical lines and the radiant tubing will all be encased in the concrete. And then they'll be ready to start setting up and doing their uh, interior walls and their exterior walls and whatnot to keep the job going. Behind me is uh, snow melt uh, for the ramp uh, for the loading dock area and to get into the new engineering lab. Yeah, the PEX that we have uh, in the tube right now is uh, about 25,000 uh, feet of three-quarter inch uh, tubing just for the loading dock area. Today we got a great Monday morning. Weather's beautiful. We're doing a concrete pour of the outside uh, driveway uh, with the snow melt system, 180 yards. Uh, should have it all wrapped up by noontime today with the placement of the concrete. And that'll complete us for the next still four to six weeks until we can finish out the rest of the loading dock with the driveway. Uh, tail end of the week, we'll do slab on grade. Things are looking great. To have a project like this is great because the economy is so rough right now and we're putting jobs, we're putting people to work. And to see everyone out there that some of these people haven't been employed in months, some of them years. They're excited about going back to work. They're excited about working on a project here in their home state. They really want this to go well. They want to continue working. And it's, it's a great project for the state of Rhode Island. 